I suppose the decision to get rid of the two boys came and bring in Jono. Already, yeah. I think it was a good move. I, I actually thought my mindset at that time I was very disappointed for them because yeah. post yeah. All Ireland final, yeah. I said I went into you know you went to the little bar with the two teams after the game in, in yeah. the whole band or whatever. I seen Mickey Moore and John Morrison were talking with with James Waldron. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the yeah. Rumor at that stage you know yeah so I just said um, I went over and I said here James just give them boys another year well deserved yeah and ah oh, yeah yeah no bother the usual I would snide out of them you know what I mean yeah <laughs> and I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday they were gone you know and my, my first inkling to that was right I'll earn a winning manager this is this is all we need effectively mm. we've been in our own finals Mm-hmm. And obviously it didn't work out like that. But what was your initial thoughts when when this decision came and the boys were were gone? Well, I, look here. I think that anything, and I think you were saying it as well. None of this was a reflection on, on Jono because, like, I'd never worked with him. Uh, like at that stage, what he'd done at Galway was was huge. What he'd done with, May, with Mayo before was 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 massive. Um, Herself is online there looking at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm waving back. Um, uh, so it wasn't that, but you're right. Like, th- there's no doubt in my mind that they deserved another year. Not only that, we had made huge strides, I'd felt, in that year, just in mm. terms of our football, you know, in terms of being capable of playing that last 20 minutes of the... Because uh, we played well the last 20 minutes of the kind of final. We went and won that game. We hadn't played well to that point in the game. And it was a tough game. We played well, obviously, for sections of that Dublin game. You know, brilliant start, brilliant finish. Yeah. And um, so there was loads to work with there. Like, and I think if we'd got more time together, more time to work together, you know, the sort of things that maybe they weren't as strong on at that time as a management team in terms of that physical edge was something mm-hmm. that we would maybe have been able to bring to us as players. Itself. Maybe we wouldn't. I, I don't know. But yeah, I think everyone coming away from the, the All Ireland in 06 was recognizing that we needed to be physically tougher and stronger at it. As it happened, the reaction to that didn't do us any good because we went out and ended up trained way too hard probably the next year. Did all right. Got to a league final probably with a bunch of fellas injured. <laughs> I was injured uh, playing. There was a bunch of us injured playing and only got beat us. So that was, uh, uh, you know, and it didn't do us any good come the, the summer. But yeah, look, just to, to get on the Moore and Morrison thing, like they should have gotten mm. another year. There's no doubt about it. And whatever the motivations of the county board were, it, it doesn't make a difference now. All you look back and say it was a bad decision. Well, is there any any reason, Billy, you'd say like how, like I thought probably seven, obviously the start of the year was good after the league final, um, championship, doing that, like eight, nine, and ten, like they weren't good years for us with John. Like I think they were probably our our, our worst years as as senior players. And now it's not all down to John. Don't get me wrong, but we seem to have lost our bit of our. our or grow for I think as a panel, not as individuals, obviously, but as a, as a panel. Did you? Was there anything along the way, that, in a sense, that you would have thought that you know, where where does this end? Like, how do we kind of pull this back together here and get our, get stuff done? You know. Well, look here. I'd love to hear John Oates thinking on it. Look, we didn't. You're, you're right. Look, we didn't play. We didn't play well. Like, I think what do we get out of that run? One kind of title. And Pather was it? Pather got us a. a, 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 a it got again go away a, 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 a point laid on to win us a conic title. Did Mead beat us after that? Mead bedged us in Crow Park. Long after the last one. Oh yeah, Jesus, yeah, we will love whatever fucking long for. Um but yeah, the, after that after that winning that conic title, like we, we didn't even go into the <laughs> with, with with a lot of confidence. Look okay, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe there's an element of it. And I, I like I was probably in the middle of my career you are close. I suppose late twenties. You you probably should be driving on 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 the thing a, a little more. Whereas probably there was a bit of a transition there because some of the bigger players we had during the John or era that were big players for us. I'm talking. Mm-hmm. You're talking about DB Kevin O'Neill, <clears throat> Nalan, Haney, fellas like that. I'm probably missing out a few. They were probably not going to be the fellas driving it on any longer because they're that bit older. We probably needed more younger fellas uh, driving it on. As 
driving it on and, and that just wasn't there um, and I think I think as well for, for, for Jono it wasn't it's not ideal like I, I would say he's probably selling himself the amount of work that went into being an intercounty manager when he was with Mayo in 89 or when he was with Goa in 98 compared to even that time and him trying to do a, <laughs> a very busy yeah. job as a TD in Dublin you were spreading yourself too thin and and I'd say you know it, it, it didn't whether whether he would probably if he were to say to, say to us now that oh look I put, it, I put in as much time into that as I did to any of the other teams I would say that's fair enough but as a bunch of players we probably felt look is he really thinking about this whole thing he's up doing his job in Dublin you know and there was probably an element of complacency on our part mm-hmm. as a result of that um <clears throat> Where, where, where Armagh, Billy, when obviously you went up to Armagh, obviously, obviously, you've just, obviously yourself, obviously being from up there as well and stuff, and your work is obviously in, obviously in Mead at the moment, but did you find, I would have found, obviously, when I was in Jordanstown, the Nordy boys had an awful lot of a different outlook on the game. They were a lot more physically strong. They were a lot more, I suppose, siege mentality guys. Um, yeah, and obviously some of them guys are Armagh as well. How did you find the transition going from, I suppose, well, Mayo to to Armagh, as in when you got involved in the setup? Well, I suppose I had a, a bit of a bit of that earlier on because I would, did two years in Queens as, as well, so played Sigerson yeah. for Queens. So yeah, kind of I was familiar with a bunch of lads that we I would have played against in Ulster football and played with in Queens. You know, like Dick Clerk and Marty McGrath, fe- fella, fellas like fellas like that. And um, mm. it, it, that I, Paddy McKeever played played Sig, played Sigerson together. So you had, I suppose, I was exposed to that gym, the gym mentality more so than we would have had done a Mayo at that stage. So they were definitely lifting weights. But you're right, there was even a more tactical edge. That James McCartan was our manager in in Queens, and like I played, mm-hmm. I, I played full forward in our Sigerson team for definitely for one of the years, if not two of the years. But you had this flexibility. Like there were games where I played full forward but actually played as a second centre half back for 20 minutes other games I might you know I might have been in midfield there was other times I suppose I had the versatility to do it there were other times where I played straight up full forward for 20 minutes whatever was needed at the time and you had you saw more tactical fle- flexibility like I playing for Mayo say at under age level or under 20 le- one level where you come to at that stage no one had ever asked me to be that flexible flexible, or do those sort of different jobs. Um, so it definitely was a case that there was a bit more thought going into it tactically. But I suppose by the time I played for Armagh, many of the teams down south, you know, had, had come back strong. Like Kerry were, were strong. Cork were strong in, 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 in 07. And um, then who was winning the All-Irelands in, in, in 9 and or in 9 and 10? I can't remember anyway, but... Uh, uh, Cork were in... Yeah. 2010, was it? I don't know where I'm 10. It was Cork and 9, I think, anyway. Was it me? 10 no. no, 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 no. Dublin, we're Dublin 11 and then Donegal afterwards in 12. Kerry must have won one. Kerry must have won one there in 10. But anyway, I suppose one thing is that many of the the, the Southern teams, like whether it be Dublin or, or, or Cork or, or Kerry, had, had come back and strong. So they had addressed the conditioning advantage that maybe the Ulster teams had in 02, 03, 04. Mm. Uh, so I suppose I had seen it at, at college level. You can understand then why the Ulster teams were so physically strong because you were playing with them in college. But by the time I transferred to Armagh, like I remember the Armagh lad saying to me, thinking, ah, oh, sure, now, you know, uh, she, we'd go to the gym the first day, so you mustn't have done much weights down in Mayo. And I'd be looking at them, yeah, we've been doing weights for like flat out for the last five or six years. <laughs> you know, So like it wasn't the case. They probably still thought they had that edge, but they hadn't. So everyone else had kind of caught, caught up that way um, in terms of the the, the, the the physical side of it and being, being big and strong. Um, so so really, I think it was, it was more of a, level, a leveler playing field at, at that stage. Uh, I suppose into... into... Just a quick couple of minutes, Billy. On I suppose the last maybe five, six years, I suppose with Mayo, um, you know, it's, it's we've, you know, if you can understand this question, you know, and it's not, it's not a cut at a manager or anything like that. But obviously, people would say, obviously, Horn has been a fantastic manager for Mayo, and they've done excellently, and so on and so forth, and all the rest of it, right? Mm-hmm. Got to, I don't know, the three All Ireland finals, one replay in the last five years, give or take. Yeah. Um, I suppose the question being, 
you know, I go back to, I suppose, 04 or 06, 96, 97, then 04 or 06. There was managers there as well, good teams, got to All Ireland's, probably Meads through the way. The only one of all them All Ireland's was thrown away. But I don't think there's too many against Dublin that we threw away, effectively. Now, we didn't win them, obviously, but what's your thoughts on, on that statement that people will say, you know, fantastic, the best manager we have ever had, and blah, blah, blah. And where do you think the team is currently, I suppose, at, as we speak? But geez, I, you know, I suppose the answer to the last question was, who knows where they're at? It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there'll be a challenger if there's football this year. Um, hmm. for, the, for, for, I suppose, many of the reasons we saw in the, in the springtime, that many of the younger players are, have not got up to the level that, that is required. And, and it's getting more and more difficult for the older players to keep coming back and keep churning out those performances. You know, you have injuries to Tom Barrison, you have injuries to Colin Boyle. Um, you know, Keegan has had difficulties with injuries. Uh, Shane O'Shea has difficulties with injuries. Yeah. Um, you know, Killian. Uh, so I think it's going to be very difficult for them to get back there. I suppose the whole thing on, on Horn for me, I never, I never coached him. He never coached me. I was gone. Like, his first year coincided with me leaving. So I, I can't speak other than what I saw from the outside. And from the outside, what I saw was... You're on that fence again. No, 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 no. Give me, give me What I saw from the outside, let me finish. Don't, don't, don't. It was improvement. Because yeah. players that were on the squad when I was there, Colin Boyle, Lee Keegan was in and out on trial games. Um, there's, there's probably loads of... That's, you know, Shamey O'Shea was there. Barry Moran was there. Even Aiden, Aiden, Aiden himself. Aiden was there. I was there. Those players improved dramatically when Horner was there. Maybe it was a case that they were just coming into their prime and maybe they would have improved with any manager. Yeah. But there's, there's no doubt about it that they did improve. You have a better understanding of whether... Like, I remember, I remember you ringing me. I remember you ringing me when you, said, when you decided that you were going to pull on the pin here. So yeah. Because of the frustrations that you had. We're just saying earlier on that you're playing well in Avers, but you're not getting a chance. And, and I remember saying, I remember saying, look, just hold, hold on. You know, it's a long summer. Hold, it's a long summer. Bite, bite your lip a bit and just, just carry on. You don't have to talk to anyone. You just go and you, you turn it. And I wish you had done that because maybe the, maybe the future would have been different. Yes. But I, well, I, I, I think... You, I think you just, said just, just, said it the other way. Pardon? Trevor and Kenneth said, yeah. Ouch. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they told you to fucking jump ship, did they? Well, what chance do I have when they're telling you that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> But um, um, as she did, to be fair, like there's no doubt about it, man. And I suppose it was only herself who said it as well. Like I rang her. I remember it vividly. I was over in Malahide and I rang. I said, I'm fucking, I'm done with that, whatever. I'm done. I'm tough, I'm tough. And I actually left it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I kid you not, five minutes later, I picked up the phone man, and rang him. I'm done. Good luck. <laughs> <That was just laughs> and you, you never thought of it again? <laughs> I, was, I think I remember standing in my kitchen because I remember the phone call specifically. And I was just saying, just just tough it out. But oh, here, if you want to say what that team lacked, if you want to go back to that question, what that team yeah. lacked. Well, you know, we lacked we lacked something different in the forward line. Whether that was you starting or whether that was you coming off the bench, giving yeah. you know something totally different with twenty minutes mm -hmm. twenty minutes to go. As it happened in the All Ireland final, when you're chasing a game, you probably needed something coming off the bench. You probably were watching that game, thinking, "Holy shit." You know, I wish I was even coming off the bench here in this yeah. one. Because um, Mayo had all this possession and couldn't get the scores in that game against, against Donegal. Um, mm. And I suppose if you want to say, if it's, it's a criticism of, of Horne as manager of, of, that era, of that era, is that yeah. they played the exact same way every minute, every minute of every game. Yeah. And that was brilliant. And it was blue teams away in Connacht. And it, yeah. it was the reason we probably you know, had that big win against Cork, that big win against Dublin. In those in the all all Ireland semi-finals, but sometimes, sometimes you have to be able to do something different for twenty minutes, and we were never able to develop that. That's probably why, if you were to ask me now, what have been the best performances of a Mayo team over the last ten years with that team? From those best performances, mm. still weren't good enough to win All Ireland, but were probably under Stephen Rochford in the, in those All Ireland finals against Dublin because they were near, they were closer to as good as you could be, and still not win 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 the game. 
if, if you know what I mean. Like they, they were able to soak up pressure better. Yeah. They played it sideways. They were more patient. Yeah. They got the scores when they needed them. And it wasn't just all full mm-hmm. throttle football. That's interesting, actually, you know, on, on, on Rachi. I suppose I'm just conscious of the time, Billy, there. Where, where, see, when you're chatting away, the time just erodes and this thing cuts out and now really see, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Just want to touch on there, Billy, I suppose, on to, I suppose you're obviously a big liberal. 